Hi, I'm Janine. Thanks so much for watching my channel. Today I'm going to tell you about this very summery twin set that I've just made up. It's been hot this summer and I tend to be one of those people who is either always too cold or too hot. So for me, a twin set is a really great part of my wardrobe. Last month, I was perusing Fabric Mart Fabrics website and I saw this fabric. I don't usually buy anything bright orange. However, a couple of months ago when I wore a red, bright red golf top that I'd made, a lot of people said that bright colors suited me. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to give it a try. I'm going to try another bright color instead of going with pink or beige or gray. So I picked up three yards of this fabric. I'm going to put the full description of the fabric in the video description, but it's a poly spandex knit and the design is a jacquard dot. So I got the fabric and I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to make with it. I kind of considered something like a beach cover-up. I thought it looked really kind of beachy, like a beach dress, but I am not going to the beach this year. And it's important for me to sew things that I'm actually going to wear because I do try to be a little minimalist and um, not have too much stuff in my closet. So a twin set it was. The pattern that I used is Pamela's Patterns New Versatile Twin Set. Here it is. So tank top and three types of cardigan, alero, cardigan, duster. If you watch my channel, you know that I really like Pamela Leggett's patterns for a couple of reasons because she usually sew, has patterns for knits, and I sew a lot of knits, but also, more than that, her patterns are designed for a little more, I hate to say it, mature figure. So there's a half inch high round back adjustment built in. There's good options for those of us who need an FBA. The waist is a little bit shorter, the waist is a little bit thicker. So I do like her patterns because I don't have to mess around much. And this one was no exception at all. So I decided on this pattern with this fabric. And it was actually quite an easy make. I cut everything with my scissors instead of my rotary cutter. I seem to be enjoying using my scissors more these days. Maybe I need new blades. I thought I had new blades in the rotary cutter. But I'm, I'm enjoying using scissors a little bit more. So I cut it out. And then I put a brand new stretch needle in my machine and I put the walking foot on it because I was concerned that this fabric was going to move and I was going to get ripples. Here's a remnant of this and it's really stretchy, really stretchy. And I could just imagine it getting all caught especially because of the texture of the fabric. So I put the walking foot on and that worked really well. And I did use the serger for the side seams and the shoulders. The serger thread doesn't match and really doesn't matter. Honestly, doesn't matter. <laughs> so I sewed it all up. Um, I adjusted the darts. I don't think I got the darts exactly where they should be. They're good, but they're not exactly where they should be. But I want to tell you a little bit more about this pattern in particular because there are a couple of things I really liked. The first was on the tank top, how the neck edge is done. I followed the instructions exactly. I did not skip any steps. I read everything and did things the way they were supposed to be done on the tank top. So for the neck edge and the arm side, you're instructed to sew, stay stitching in a presser foot width from the edge. Then you add, I use this particular stay tape. This is Sew Keys E 
knit stay tape. This is the half inch one, and I do buy this at Fabric Mart. I always have at least one roll of this because I use this on all of my knits. It's so good for neck edges. So all I did was the stay stitching, then added the knit stay tape, turned it under, and pressed it on both the arm side and on the neck. And man, I mean, it worked really well. I was very pleased with that technique. So I finished at the top and then I went to the cardigan. Went through all the same steps with the cardigan. The difference with the cardigan is that it has a facing at the front. On the pattern, you're instructed to interface the facing and stitch it on. So I interfaced one of the facings, which of course is the fabric, so it's knit, and I saw that it became super stable. So I kind of wondered, could I use a woven fabric instead for the facing? So I tested using the knit fabric with the interfaced knit, the knit fabric with woven, and the knit fabric with interfaced woven. And the knit fabric with interface woven worked just fine. So I used a fun remnant that I had for the facing on the cardigan. And it just and it just makes it a little bit more fun inside. And it's really super summery because it's oranges. I also followed the instructions on how to understitch for this neck edge and oh my gosh they were best instructions I've ever used for understitching because she tells you to not press it to just stitch from the right side of the facing the seam allowance and don't get you don't press it until afterwards and then you just kind of steam it and there is narrowing a piece of facing that shows through. The final piece was hemming and I used another product that was suggested. Double-sided fusible stay tape. So this is for the hem. It's an inch wide and it's clear and I've used things like heat and bond before, um, soft stretch. This stuff works really really well. Um, I've had okay luck with the others, but this I was really happy with. So I just pressed this on, turned it up, pressed it, and then I just top stitched. And for the top stitching everywhere, I used a really narrow zigzag, half a millimeter by two and a half millimeters in length. For the closure, they suggest that you use a piece of elastic. I didn't have any orange elastic. I didn't have an orange hair elastic. So I just crocheted a little, little loop. And I put a bright yellow button on. The darts aren't exactly in the right place, but that's okay. Because this is something that will be just fun to wear this summer. And I also like that I can pull the sleeves up. A lot of times, um, home sewing patterns. The sleeves are just voluminous. These are just the right size, at least for me, with the stretch, but it's nice to be able to pull up the sleeves. This is Pamela's Patterns New Versatile Twin Set with fabric from Fabric Mart Fabrics in Sinking Springs, Pennsylvania. I appreciate you watching. If you enjoy my videos, you can hit the subscribe button and the bell. And well, you know the drill. You'll know then when I post a new video. Hope everyone's enjoying July. I'll see you soon.